this confederacy. <laughs> now I perceive they have conjoined all three to fashion this false sport in spite of me. Injurious Hermia, most ungrateful maid, have you conspired? Have you with these contrived to bait me with this foul derision? Is all the counsel we two have shared, the sisters' vows, the hours we have spent when we have chid the hasty-footed time for parting us? Oh, is it all forgot? All school days friendship? Childhood innocence? We, Hermia, like two artificial gods, have with our needles created both one flower both on one sampler, sitting on one cushion, both warbling of one song, both in one key. As if our hands, our sides, voices, and minds have been incorporate, so we grow together, <laughs> like to a double cherry, seeming parted, and yet a union in partition. Two lovely berries molded on one stem. <laughs> so with two seeming bodies, but one heart. Two of the first, like coats and heraldry, do but to one and crowned with one crest. And will you rent our ancient love asunder to join with men in scorning your poor friend? It is not friendly, tis not maidenly. Our sex, as well as I, may chide you for it. Though I alone do feel the injury. <laughs>